A Sports. It's in the game. Appreciated, Coach. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Miami Dolphins and the Dallas Cowboys. down. Shields. Ten yards on the pick up there and it'll be second down. Now that was an excellent run and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes so when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Second down of inches. Looking middle and that's complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have him on the move on first down. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He gets this one to Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That throw good for four. It's second down. On second down, Shields. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Let's 
Now a give, right side. Shields. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed and they really needed that one for confidence just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. On second down now, Shields. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Back to throw. Beard looking for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like, whew, we only gave up three. And oh, deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. McManus's point after is good. And the lead grows to 10-0. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here we go. Set. Touch the elbow. First and 10, Malone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again. Malone, and the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. A pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second and four at the 40 yard line. The last run got six, now second and four. Second and four. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 41. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and 12. At the 43-yard line. It's three. It's going to Fifty. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Hey, hey, check, check. Mike, 50, Mike, 50. I got him. Hold on, Check 24, check 24. From the gun, Beer. He's got a man that's caught. Left sideline. Yeah. So here, the men in charge are going to be looking at whether or not the receiver had possession of the ball as he went out of bounds. And they have to make sure that the receiver got both feet down in bounds as well. They have the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Get ready. Get ready. Ready? Mike 50, Mike 50, Mike 50. Watch this up. Check four, check four. Operating from the gun. Beer. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. On first down, Ferguson takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Right, didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Ferguson. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. From the gun on third down, Malone. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. Get, 
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position, the ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold him. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. I'm going back to you. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Beer. And he's got his man on the out route. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and two. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, Beer. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Let's go. Let's go. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? A second down carry for Ferguson. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there, no gain. And now they're looking at a third and 15. Off the play fake. Malone. As I was watching the play unfold, my eyes immediately went to the referee because I wanted to see, was he going to put those two hands over his head and that universal signal for a safety? But it's at the one-yard line. You know you're playing with fire when you get sacked that close to the goal line. That's taken at around the 40. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week, three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. 
Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Second and nine now. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. For a rookie first rounder, he's made a huge impact on this defense, but that tells me that they had a plan for him when they drafted him. Just turn him loose, do what you do best, go get the quarterback. On third down, Ferguson. And he's going to lose yardage back to his own one-yard line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Right now in the second quarter on the defensive side, they got to feel pretty good about what they're doing. They should embrace the feeling they have now, embrace the way that they're playing, and continue that through the half. I know defensive coordinators, sometimes they overthink it, start wondering how they're going to be attacked. Just keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. First down, Shields. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second down. Shields, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be third and 10 now. Operating from the gun, Beer, and an alley to run. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Darren Lee. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. On second down now, Shields. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Brings up third down. Third and long, Beer. Looking left side and it's complete. Four seconds left and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. Not time enough for a play and then a timeout, you wouldn't think. So with four seconds left, they're going for it. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 39. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goal post. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17th. Yard line. First down, 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the side that puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Daniels that time, and it's third and short. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Back to throw, Malone. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, there's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone, deep ball, short ball, and that was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We've got, de we got, the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Michael Pierce, in all of his 340-pound glory, gets the sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Running again, and again it's Ferguson. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. And he gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told. But they're still looking at a fourth down. Jason Sanders for the Dolphin field goal. And this one is right down Broadway. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13 to 3. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw. Beer. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. That QB's trash. Let's go. Off play action. Beer. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Well, that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, 
able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. From the gun, Beer. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And got his man complete. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. He had to figure they'd take a shot downfield on third and long, so the old cliche came into mind right away for me. Who wants it more? You always hear about receivers, you hear about their hands, their moves, their speed. How about the positioning and the desire to go get that one out of the air? They'll run on first down. Shields. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Back to throw. Beer. This is caught. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And I guess, Charles, sometimes when you have a receiver well over six foot, you do that. Just put it up there, let him grab it, and he did. And it certainly appears like a 50-50 ball, right? We always talk about that when both sides have a chance to get it, the receiver or the guy covering him. But I think the odds actually are in favor of the offense. They can see the ball coming oftentimes before the defender can get his head around. So I think that really goes to like 70-30, and they should be able to go up and get it most of the time. And he got it there. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. They'll keep it on the ground. Shields, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Two straight shots on the ground, now on third do you go to the air. I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. To throw on second down. Malone, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Malone into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. And 
And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On first down, Shields. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they're going to face a third down. Let's go, Pete Looking to throw. Beard. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Second and nine now from the 21. Right back to Ferguson. Right, he'll be dropped at the 30. And a shifty move got him a couple extra on the play. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. The Dolphins on third down as bad as you can be. 0 for 7 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw. Malone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. They're already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. On fourth down, Malone. That's complete. It's Collins. The 20, 10, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A big play there with his first career NFL touchdown as they are able to cut into that lead. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Shields. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time it's third and three. This is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Room to run again. And he cuts it out to the sideline. And he'll be taken down at the 26. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try the left side. Shields. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and 10. Big play coming up, here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. On third down, Shields. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage, back at the 17. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. The kick by McManus is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So yet another field goal to end the drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Throwing on first down. Malone. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Running right, Ferguson on the give. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. 
And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Looking to throw. Malone, he's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Got to be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here, trying to preserve the lead. And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done, really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but yeah, I... But, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiple so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a game ball, child. and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. So for the Cowboys, they remain one of the hottest teams out there as the win moves them to 6-1. and one. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Washington Redskins. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they drop just their second game so far as they fall to 5-2. and two. And they'll get an extra week to think about it as the midseason bye might be coming at just the right time.